Well, in a twisted saga here, an 18-year-old is facing murder charges despite not even being present for the crime. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson is live near the University of Houston. And Liliana, this crime happened at a student apartment complex, not associated with the university, but still there nearby. This is Haven at Elgin. A couple weeks ago, a 16 year old was found shot and killed inside one of the elevators. The Harris County DA telling us that the man who was coaching the teen to commit the armed robbery is now being held responsible for his death. On December 13th, a resident of Haven at Elgin spoke only to ABC 13 about his gruesome discovery. I went to the elevator um, and whenever it opened, uh, I just saw a body. Um, it looked pretty, he looked pretty lifeless. A 16 year old boy shot to death. I've never really seen a body like so, like, you know what I mean? So still. Police telling us that teen was Edwin Quinones. He had been attempting to rob people in the elevator when he was shot and killed. 20 days later, students living there are still on edge. My parents are like trying to get me to end my lease here and come home. Now court documents say 18 year old Larry Holmes is charged with Quinona's death. Only he wasn't the person who shot him. The DA's office alleges Holmes coached Quinona's how to commit armed robbery and charged Holmes through the law of parties. It doesn't really make me feel any safer per se because they still haven't found the individual who committed the actual murder itself. According to state law, the law of parties allows someone to be held responsible for someone else's crimes under three circumstances. If you caused or helped an innocent person engage in a crime, if you intentionally helped, encouraged, or directed someone to commit or attempt to commit a crime, or if you knew a crime was going to happen and you made no effort to stop it from happening. Holmes was given a $275,000 bond, but he's still in jail. He's going to be back in court on Thursday. I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.